Hello there, my name is Erayo Skral. I'm the founder of Celestial Intellect Cybernetics. Today I'm going to present a paper titled Measures of Intelligence, Perception and Intelligent Agents. Here's an overview. First, I'm going to introduce the Ultimate Intelligence Research Program and then we're going to revisit Universal Induction Theory and explain what sorts of problems set in Operator Induction cover. Then, I'm going to present a new definition of intelligence based on perception and or prediction. Afterwards, I'm going to introduce a new intelligence measure based on operator induction. We're then going to consider intelligent agent models based on prediction. Finally, we're going to discuss the consequences of these definitions and future work. This presentation includes only one equation that we're going to discuss and is quite informal otherwise, so I'm hoping it will be easy to follow. Ultimate Intelligence Research Program introduces physical models of universal machine learning, which is the same thing as Holmov's universal induction scheme. We can replace the reference machine in universal induction with the universe using a graphical model of computational complexity, which yields a more universal yardstick. We define new physical measures of stochastic algorithmic complexity, or learning to simulate a stochastic source based on minimum machine volume, minimum energy, minimum space-time complexity. We introduce energy and volume as new universal priors and analyze resource bounds of interest. Then we extended these measures to logical depth and conceptual jump size, which is the complexity of transfer learning. In this paper, we extend our approach to the definition of intelligence and intelligent agents. We will define intelligence based on universal induction alone and define a new intelligence measure based on universal supervised learning. And we will introduce hypothetical simpler agent models based on prediction. Universal machine learning is well captured by Solomonov's universal induction theory. Solomonov introduced two kinds of induction that are relevant to this study, which are operator induction and set induction. Operator induction is conditional probability density function induction and it is a universal mixture of recognizers. Like MML, it presents a model complexity accuracy trade-off. Operator induction corresponds to well-known supervised machine learning problems, some examples of which are face recognition, sentiment detection, and scene description. Set induction likewise corresponds to unsupervised learning, and it is essentially PDF induction. It also is a universal mixture of distributions. Both forms of induction are convergent and complete, by the way, just like the more well-known sequence induction scheme. Some examples of set induction are unsupervised learning, clustering web pages, and learning to simulate physical problems, and representation learning, such as representing molecular networks and representing 3D scenes from video. Let me note that many specialized problems may require additional inductive biases in practice. However, theory shows that these biases can in principle be recovered by meta-learning methods. We can consider perception and or prediction as general intelligence. The well-received definition of general intelligence in AGI research is based on goal-following agents, introduced by Leigh-Ann Hutter. Intelligence measures an agent's ability to achieve goals in a wide range of environments. Now let us consider perception as general intelligence, since perception may be modeled as predicting the world based on sensor data. For instance, when we are observing a scene from image or video data, we are predicting what sorts of objects are in the scene. Prediction may be modeled as operator or set induction. Therefore, we can think of general intelligence as universal induction ability. An alternative, simpler definition of general intelligence is based on prediction alone. We can summarize it as, intelligence is the ability to predict, which is a philosophical definition or as an operational definition, which is intelligence measures the ability of a mechanism to solve prediction problems. This definition is not better than the agent-based definition, but may be equivalent. Arguably, perception may turn out to be as hard as any other cognitive task. This alternative definition is natural for classical machine learning problems, such as optical character recognition or expert systems or decision support systems. The resulting models may be easier to approximate. We now introduce intelligent agent models based on prediction. Instead of AXC, we can follow the bi-module OOPS-RL, which consists of a perception model and a planning model. 
If we define perception tasks cleverly, we can use a simple planner. We can learn complex functions that predict the future based on history. As an example, we can predict the action that maximizes the cumulative utility for a planning period given agent history. We can cast it as an operator induction problem for cumulative rewards, where we infer the most likely cumulative reward for the agent's history and a given action. This simple model motivates a new intelligence measure based on operator induction alone. These are of course merely the simplest possible models. There are many ways to cast these problems. These are not engineering models, which will likely include a lot of machine learning submodels and combine these in a practical way. However, it helps us to consider what we have to do at the minimum to make a general purpose intelligent agent work at all, hence all the tedious nitpicking in the present study. Is operator induction enough? Can operator induction adequately model intelligence? There are two potential objections considered. An active agent model is strictly necessary, as in a dynamic physical environment. The agent must account for changes. We can model decision making as an induction problem at each step, or base decision making on an induction model. Therefore, we can solve the agent problem with a simple policy a simple control program that uses a sophisticated prediction process. The smart trick here is the prediction power and the control program is simpler. It can even be a fixed dump program. Basic Solomon of induction can only predict the next bet, therefore we should use an extended model like an IEC. Operator induction does use Hutter's extended sequence induction model that can cover data of arbitrary size internally. That is why we can embed any kind of data including sequences. Therefore, we can deal with complex data structures and this gives us a lot of leeway in designing our perception capabilities. It gives us a rich foundation of predictions to work on. Empirical evidence for prediction-based agent designs. In 2016 and 2017, we predicted that such agents could be made and they would work well. These are agents that are hypothetically built on a complex prediction engine and a simple control program. Two such agents now exist in the literature. World Models paper by Hai and Schmidhuber in 2018 uses representation learning to acquire a dynamic world model. Given inputs, it can predict the next state of the world. It uses an unsupervised generative model. The paper suggests that training a policy is simple if we can learn world models. On the other hand, there is a new agent model based on transformers. The transformer-based agent uses a transformer model to predict the next best action directly, which is surprising and the performance is pretty good. It is state-of-the-art or beyond. This paper was by Chen et al. in 2021. Therefore, surprisingly, these predictive agents worked very well and they had competitive performance with respect to the best agents available. These can use either a kind of unsupervised learning or supervised learning or a combination thereof, so set and operator induction, which are somewhat equivalent by the way, can be combined to realize similar agents. We will now introduce the new universal intelligence measure based on operator induction. We define the intelligence measure as phi with respect to a physical mechanism pi. The expression on the right-hand side is a weighted sum of expected operator induction goodness of fit for each possible stochastic source mu in the universe, and it is defined for any physical pi that solves the question answer or operator induction problem. The equation corresponds to generating sources mu and then generating possible data sets for each source mu over which expected performance is calculated. The expected operator induction goodness of fit is weighed by the a priori probability of the stochastic source mu, which is 2 to the negative power of its algorithmic complexity. Within the square brackets, there is expression for the operator induction goodness of fit, which again corresponds to a weighted sum of operator induction goodness of fit values. OJ here refers to a found operator, and the length of the found operator is the length of the program that simulates OJ. The product combines operator J's probabilities of answer i given question i in the current dataset, the larger the better. 
and we are calculating the expected goodness of it that is considering all the possible data sets, which is quite many of course. The paper does not have space to go into the details of this definition, which may be regarded as a variation of Leg and Hutter's definition. The important thing is that within the expectation, pi and mu are constant, but the data set varies. In practice, we can only approximate this theoretical ideal definition, of course, so we can't really calculate it. It's a hard number to compute, like the halting probability, omega. But in practice, we will try to follow the idea in the first bullet. We'll generate sources and then generate datasets for each source and weigh the fit values properly and this will give us a reasonable number between 0 and 1. This definition can certainly be varied. We use a plain goodness of fit value, this could be another value. The definition is given mostly to underline the plausibility of the core theoretical idea here, though it does serve as a theoretical contribution itself. We conclude with some discussion on future work. Simple planners can work for intelligent agents. This is confirmed by two new agent models in the literature which were introduced subsequent to the initial version of this paper. Some questions to ponder are, can we do the same for sophisticated planners? And can we design a fully autonomous agent based on the same approach? Could we somehow arrive at an optimization problem that covers all the important aspects of intelligent agents? Or could we drive, following this approach, a complete engineering model that can achieve human-level AI? We can also extend this new definition of intelligence for physical measures of solution complexity, energy, volume, time, space-time, action. And we can extend it for different problem types. Multi-type problem sequences, including sequence, set, operator induction, and transfer learning measures based on our prior stochastic process model. And can we drive domain-specific intelligence measures based on the same approach? I'd like to note that an standard version of this paper including more mathematical details and proofs will be available on archive since the conference version was intended for a more general audience. Thank you for listening. End of transmission.